I did see a negative thought, and I wanted to kind of address this just from my point of view, because I really feel like it's just interesting. Some fans, and I'm not going to say all fans, but some fans seem to be, you know, very, very uh, hurt and and just want negative for Tavian. And to me, if if you've if you've watched Dabo Sweeney at all, if you've shaken his hand at all, you know that he wouldn't wish you to think that way. I mean, Dabo Sweeney is all about love and service and caring for people. And even if it even if it negatively affects what he's doing, his team, but it's best for the player, that's what's best. And so, uh, and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, he, he wore the jersey and now he's going to go to Carolina. To me, the jersey is sentimental. It's like, you know, that thing, you know, your, your great aunt gave you and you don't want to throw it away, but it's kind of ugly. You know, the jersey number is something that I think we get too attached to. Uh, you're going to run out of jersey numbers if you retire every number that Dabo is going to, every elite player that Dabo is going to bring in. And uh, jersey numbers are have always been, I know when I played, I, I wanted a jersey number. And so it, me- it meant something to me. And if they're all tied up and you can't use them, then it's kind of a negative recruiting. And Dabo would never do something that's negative recruiting. I think he did the best he could to balance respecting the player that wore the number and, and did so well for Clemson, but also allowing new players to, to cement their legacy and build on it. What, did it did it fill out the way we wanted it to? We wanted Mr. Football Feaster to number 28 to be the next C.J. Spiller. We did. It didn't, it didn't pan out to be that way, but that doesn't mean that he didn't deserve the number and he should, you know, be erased from the Clemson record books and he's not a graduate, especially if he graduates, he's going to be a two-time champion that graduated. What more could you want from a guy, especially if you don't think, think about it this way, Kelly Bryant left, but Tavian Feaster stayed, and he was actually the number three guy at the beginning of the season, but he stayed when he could have left too. He could have said, hey, Kelly, let's go. Let's get on the bus together. Let's go to Missouri together. Um, but he stayed, and he toughed it out. I think that he did, he, he paid his time. I don't think he, I don't wish any ill will against Tavian Feaster at all. So if you're, if you're one of those fans, it's like, and I just, I just, you know, have ill will against Tavian because of that number 28. I say really reflect on that because I don't think that that's the way the coach that we love so much would want you to feel. Yeah, I'll always remember Tavian Feaster's, what, 87,000-yard run against NC State uh, was one of his highlight moments. I think Tavian's a great kid is what I hear as well. Uh, here's my take on it, man. Best of luck to you wherever you go. I'd rather not see him go to South Carolina either. I, to me, I'd rather not see him go to a team that Clemson's going to have to play again just because it becomes this big issue that we're going to talk about on the radio and your show. I'd rather be able to go somewhere where he could just focus on football and not be the focus in a game later on where a lot of Clemson Nation might be saying, hey, we're going to shut Tavian down and show him he made a mistake and all that stuff. So best of luck to him. I hear he's a great kid. If you can get your degree in three years, it took me five years to get my degree. If you can get your Three in three years, you can go do whatever you want, son. So I hope he has a great, successful career wherever he ends up. And then on to the NFL for Tavian Feaster if he's lucky, right? 